many congratulations on the purchase of your new Tormek machine, the original water-cooled grinding system from Sweden. It's quiet, it's safe, it's easy to use, but above all, it's fast. With a bit of practice, you'll soon be able to touch up an edge in less than a minute. And the range of clever jigs guarantee perfect repeatability. So you'll always get the finest edge over and over again. I've had a Tormek machine in my workshop for well over 20 years. But it's this combination of speed and accuracy that continues to impress me even after all this time. So I'm sure it will meet all your sharpening requirements for many years to come. To help you get the most out of your new Tormek, I'm going to guide you through the initial setup and then give you a brief introduction to the system and its features along with a few useful tips. So let's get started. After unpacking, the first thing to do is to mount the grindstone and this is dead easy thanks to the easy lock nut. Remember though that the nut is left handed so unscrew it by turning clockwise. Then remove the packing sleeve and slide on the stone. Tighten the nut by turning it anti-clockwise by hand and that's all you have to do. It will automatically tighten to the correct torque when you switch on the machine. If you need to remove the stone just turn it clockwise whilst holding the shaft stationary using the honing wheel. The easy lock nut will then automatically loosen. The honing wheel is already mounted when you unpack your machine. Now I'm going to take it off to show you the rubber drive wheel. During transport, or if the machine has been idle for a long time, a film may develop on the surface of the rubber drive wheel and this can affect the efficiency of the drive. It can also occur under warm climate conditions or if the surface becomes coated with fine wood dust. In these cases, freshen it up by holding some coarse abrasive paper on the wheel for a few seconds as it's revolving. When you remount the honing wheel, make sure that these pins locate into the holes on the drive wheel. You'll hear a click when it's in the right position, but you can also double check on the inside of the honing wheel where you'll see the pins through the holes. When it's brand new, the leather surface of the honing wheel needs to be impregnated with oil both to soften the leather and also to help the honing compound to penetrate. So as the wheel's spinning, add some of the oil that's included in the box. You'll need about two thirds of the tube. You can also use a light machine oil, something like sewing machine oil. Then, with the machine switched off, apply a thin bead of honing compound all around the wheel, rotating it by hand. Work this into the surface of the wheel by starting it up and then pressing on gently with a flat tool. The leather will gradually become more and more supple with subsequent applications of the compound. The water trough on the T8 is adjusted by a screw lift. And this is really neat. Initially, position the trough and raise it three steps with a screw knob and you can then start filling it. You'll note that there are an additional three steps available. These only need to be used if the diameter of the stone decreases with use, so you can then lift the trough higher. If you raise the trough too tight to the stone, the stone might scratch the bottom or cause the water to spill out when the stone is running, so just take care. Start the machine up and then start pouring water in until you reach the maximum level inside the trough. You'll be amazed how quickly it disappears, so keep refilling it until the stone cannot absorb any more. You'll need well over a litre if the stone is initially dry. The stone must run in water at all times when you're grinding, so do keep an eye on the level as you work. If you're sharpening long tools, like chef's knives or planer blades, you can add the water chute, and this just clips into the side of the trough, extending it right out to direct any water spillage back from even the longest tools. A real advantage of the Tormek water-cooled sharpening system is that no sparks are produced and all the steel particles are washed down into the trough by the water. The scraper on the T8 incorporates a strong magnet, and this attracts these particles as they ground off the tool being sharpened. This keeps the stone clean and cutting freely as it prevents them being pressed into the stone surface and clogging up the grinding action. When you come to clean the trough, you'll find that most of the steel will be located on the magnet. When you remove the scraper, the magnet will release the steel particles and you can then clean the trough easily. If you let the stone particles sink to the bottom of the trough before emptying out the water, you can then tip these and the steel particles into a bin to save blocking up your sink. Then clean it as necessary with the scraper. Now a few tips for actually using the system. 
For a start, you need to get the machine at a comfortable working height on a flat and firm surface. You need to be able to work with your shoulders nice and relaxed. A bench height of 65 to 70 centimeters seems to suit most people. I use the Tormek sharpening station, but anything at the right height and a flat surface will do. And thanks to rubber feet, the machine remains steady and doesn't have to be fixed down to the workbench. The machine has no front or back. You can sharpen both with the stone running away from the edge or towards the edge. It all depends on the type of tool that you're sharpening. Generally, sharpening towards the edge gives faster steel removal and a smaller burr. But for some tools, it's recommended to sharpen away from the edge for better control. If you're not sure, check the handbook for the type of tool you want to sharpen. But please note, for honing, the wheel should always run away from you, or the tool will get caught in the leather. A really useful accessory is this rotating base. Just look how easy it makes it to alternate between the different directions. It automatically locks into the right position. This standard Tormek original grindstone performs perfectly. It's been developed to combine the properties of efficient steel removal, smooth surface finish and long stone life. But make sure you use the stone grader regularly to keep the stone fresh and free cutting. About 20 seconds is all it takes to clean the surface. Alternatively, you can use the fine side to transform the stone to a finer grade for an equally finer finish. You can feel the difference just by touch. In a minute, you can watch individual videos for all the different jigs and accessories, so be sure to check those out. In the meantime, very briefly, I want to show you the SE77 jig that comes with the machine. This is the third generation square edge jig from Tormek. It has an adjustable side and this enables you to fine tune the setting if it's needed to get a 90 degree grind. Slackening off both adjusters allows you to sharpen a slightly convex shape by moving the blade with a pendulum motion. And the more you loosen the adjusters, the more convex the edge will become. Before you start sharpening, do make sure you set the right angle for the particular tool. It'll save you time since it then requires less steel to be removed. The fastest method to repeat the existing edge angle is to simply colour the bevel with a marker and rotate the stone by hand and then check and fine adjust until the stone removes the colouring from the whole bevel. If you want a new or a specific angle, use the Angle Master. And for turning tools, see the specific videos. The precise angle setting of the jig ensures minimal steel removal and this is what makes the Tormek method so fast. In reality, you're only removing fractions of a millimetre of steel to leave tools with a razor sharp edge that will also last very much longer. Not to mention the pleasure of actually using such sharp tools. When you're sharpening, try to use the full width of stone to encourage even wear. And like a dry grinder, there's absolutely no danger of burning so you can apply plenty of pressure for a fast cut, but do vary this to suit the grinding area. So for example, when you're sharpening a wide plane iron that uses the full width of stone, you can apply a lot of pressure, but for a delicate carving tool, you hardly need any pressure at all. Whatever tool you sharpen, keep a consistent movement across the stone to get an even edge angle. And provided you're not changing the angle, it should take less than a minute to touch up the edge. You know you're finished when you have a perfect even bevel and can feel the burr on the other side. Then move to the leather honing wheel. This process removes any burr and leaves a much finer and stronger edge. But always remember to hone with the wheel revolving away from you. And there it is. It's as simple as that. And you won't beat that for sharpness. I would strongly recommend that you read the instruction book that comes with the machine. It's packed full of information, hints and tips about the whole Tormek system. So always keep it close by for reference. There's very little to do in the way of maintenance with your Tormek machine. Always lower the water trough when you're not using the machine. Otherwise you'll end up with a discoloured line across the stone. And clean water will always give you the best sharpening result. So make it a habit to clean the trough after each sharpening or after a day in the workshop. Depending on the tools you're sharpening, the stone might become uneven after regular use, but you can simply correct it by using the Tormek truing tool, which is also included. 
If your machine's in the workshop, it's as well to protect it from dust with a proper machine cover. It's important the moisture is not trapped in, so the Tormek cover is 100% cotton and breathable. The T8 will stand a lot of handling, but we still recommend that you don't store the machine in an enclosed space or outside if it's damp. Also, don't store it where there's a risk of the water in the stone freezing, or it could break. There's very little in the workshop that you can't sharpen on a Tormek. Here is just a selection of tools, all of them razor sharp and a pleasure to use. I really do hope you'll enjoy using your Tormek as much as me. Good luck and take care.